This story originally published on March 13, 1998. It is being republished as part of the commemoration of USA Today's 40th anniversary on September 15, 2022. Washington, they are the most powerful, least known young lawyers in America. They are the law clerks of the Supreme Court. For an intoxicating year, 36 young men and women quietly screen most of the cases that come to the nation's highest court and write most of the words that come out. When citizens or companies take a case all the way to the Supreme Court, their petitions almost always are looked at first by the law clerks and disposed of without any justice actually reading the briefs. A single law clerk, typically 25 years old, white, male and a year out of Harvard, can guide the fate of a multi-billion dollar commercial dispute or make the difference between life and death for a condemned prisoner. And when the court hands down a ruling that changes the course of society, whether on race, the right to die or school prayer, law clerks write the first drafts that have enormous influence in shaping the final opinions. USA Today spent five months studying the effect and growing influence of law clerks. Current clerks are barred from talking to the media, so the newspaper interviewed more than two dozen former law clerks. Many others declined to talk publicly and sought to downplay their roles as indispensable but supporting positions in processing the roughly 7,600 petitions placed before the court each year.